Hi, this is Neil. In this video, we're going to take a look at the update to the multi-window tool. Now, the multi-window tool is very complex and it has a huge number of controls, as you can see here. This can be somewhat overwhelming the first time you use the tool. To simplify the process of designing your windows, I've added some presets for both layout and frame style. Let's have a look at the layout uh, presets first. So starting with single fixed lights and sashes. You can see there's a number of commonly used window layout designs here. And you should really think of these as a jumping off point. Really handy. There's also some more contemporary designs here, and you can use these as uh, learning examples by simply looking at the, um, the settings. We and we even have some larger designs, as you can see here. Okay, so that's a really nice way of um, getting the basic layout of the window. Let's have a look at the frame style presets. These essentially allow you to very rapidly um, apply a look to your window. So here we've got a kind of UPVC looking frame. And we can quickly switch to an aluminium style uh, with flush sashes very slim line aluminium style or even wood and it's simply that quick again this is really just a very fast way of getting you to that 90% uh, point where you can just go in and add your final tweaks to the windows okay in addition to adding the presets there's also a nice new option um, within layouts, which enables you to equalize the light widths and light heights while in manual mode. So why would you want to do this? Okay, let's just take a look at an example where we've got a few um, windows together like this. Now in manual sizing mode, we can control the heights of the rows and widths of the columns in the window. This is great, but let's imagine we now want to increase the overall width of the window. Here you can see that we've only increased the size of the last window, but what you probably wanted to do here is to reflow these windows to keep all the widths even without affecting the height of the rows. And now we can do that simply by clicking on the equalize light widths. Really nice. And there's also an option to do that for the row heights, simply clicking on that. And this essentially will, will give you the same result of switching back to automatic mode. This is a lot more flexible than automatic mode because it allows you to control uh, just one orientation at a time. Okay, that's it for this talk. 